Hi everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to do wraps for strength on your natural nail. Uh, there's different ways that you can do it. There's fiberglass wraps, which are good for nails that are extremely weak and need a lot of thickness because these are stronger. There's silk wraps. These are good for nails that are pretty healthy but just need a little bit of added strength. Um, there's also linen wraps, which are, is also known as the tea bag method. Those are good for repairing nails that have come off and you want to put it back on or repairing deep breaks. Um, but today I'm going to use the silk wraps because my nails are fairly healthy and strong but I have some like this one I don't know if you can see that are, are peeling a little and they're a little bit thinner than the rest of my nails so I just want to add some thickness to them I have pre-cut the nail strips and I'm going to show you how to do that. They come like this in a long strip and then you just basically match it up to your nail and as you can tell this one is a bit larger than my nail so I'm going to trim it down and I'm going to trim down the sides because you don't want the wrap to go on your skin you just want it covering the nail so even that's a little bit too big so just trim it down a little bit more so as you can see that is about right okay okay so before we start I'm going to take a cotton ball and some alcohol so I'm just gonna take a little rubbing alcohol and make sure that all of my nails are clean and remove any oils because you don't want any oils otherwise it won't stick and then if your nails are very smooth you can just lightly buff I'm using a super fine nail file and I'm just going to lightly buff And then swipe them down just to remove any dust. Now once you've wiped your nails with the alcohol you want to make sure that you don't touch anything or especially touching your face or your hair because the oils will transfer and then it won't stick. So now we're going to place the wrap onto the nail and it doesn't have to be perfect you just want to get it covering the whole nail now this is also a good way to repair breaks if you had a break in the nail all you would do is just cut the wrap to fit the break, make sure you're covering the entire break and then continue on to the next step. I'm just going to cut off this little piece here. Now we're going to apply the gel resin. You could also use nail glue. Um, you could also do gel polish. Uh, that would work too. 
but for time reasons, I'm just going to use the gel resin. And then you wanna apply thin coats. And make sure you cover all the wrap. And get all the sides, make sure everything is stuck down and just smooth it out. Okay, now you let that dry. I use this hurry up nail glue dryer because it dries it instantly rather than the glue could take about 10 to 15 minutes to dry. So I just like to use this and you basically just one little spray and it's dry. And then you continue on to the next nail. You just size up, peel it off and then Lay it down on your nail. Okay, I'm going to finish up doing the rest of my nails and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've applied the wraps to all of my nails and the edges are still jagged. We'll clean those up in a little bit. Um, now, if you don't need that much strength, you can leave just one coat of gel or if you need a little bit more thickness, you can do a second coat, which is what I'm going to do. So you just take another thin coat. There's a little too much. So just apply a thin coat. and then spray it and it's dry. So this really doesn't take too long. It's a good alternative to doing gel polish which can take a lot of time um, and it's a much better alternative than doing acrylics because acrylics you really have to file down the nail which is what does the damage it's not the acrylic itself that does the damage but all the filing that they do to the natural nail and also if it's not removed properly that causes a lot of damage with this you can simply grow it out with the nail or soak it in acetone to remove. Okay, so now I do want to point out that this glue is a bit pricey. However, I find that it's pretty much necessary unless you want to spend quite a bit of time letting the glue dry. Um, I'm a bit, a bit impatient, so I don't really want to spend 20 minutes letting my nails dry before each coat. So this just dries it instantly and I find it worth it. So now what we're going to do is just gently file down 
the edges so that it's smooth and take off that extra bit. You just want to hold it vertically to the nail. And file downwards. And then that's it. Okay, now that we've filed down all the edges, you want to buff the nail smooth. Okay, so now I have buffed down all of my nails. Now I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol again, just to clean them up, remove all the dust. And now your nails are ready to polish. I recommend putting a colored polish on it because as you can see, let me try and get close. You can see that there's a pattern from the wrap and if you wanted to leave your nails natural, uh, you'd be able to see it and if it doesn't bother you, then that's fine, but it bothers me. So I would put colored polish over it just so you don't see it. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching.